Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to episode 1A of my Logic Pro 10 video tutorial series. This video is actually a special addendum video to explain uh, a bit of a problem uh, that has happened to uh, several users, um, especially those who just downloaded Logic 10 and are brand new to it, or uh, didn't upgrade from Logic 9 like I did. Um, and actually, there isn't an upgrade from, from Logic 9. I just happened to have 9 installed while installing 10, and it moved a lot of the files and a lot of the preferences over in the process. Um, the problem is that Logic 10, in some cases, doesn't uh, already come with the advanced tools turned on. This isn't something you have to buy extra. It's not something you have to download extra. It's just something that you have to turn on in order to uh, make sure you can get those editing tools. A uh, really common problem I was hearing, a lot of questions I was having were, hey, Josh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm doing exactly what you're doing. I'm clicking on the exact same buttons you're doing, but when I get to this point, I don't see the window that you're seeing, or I don't see the editing function that you're seeing. And the problem, the, the solution in 99% of those problems is you just need to turn on the advanced tools. And I simply forgot to go over this in episode one. I should have, I should have uh, mentioned it in episode one. So the way you turn on your advanced tools in Logic is you go up to Logic Pro 10, Preferences, and then from here go down to Advanced Tools. So Logic Pro Preferences, Advanced Tools. The good news about this is that when you turn them on once, they'll always stay on because the, um, the preferences are global. They're not a session-by-session session thing. So you just turn them on once and they should stay that way. For all videos in this series, you're going to want to make sure all of these checkboxes are turned on. Um, basically what these do is they allow you to turn off certain, um, certain features that maybe you don't use. You know, maybe you, you're not using any control surfaces or maybe you're not mixing and surround at all. So you can turn those off and those options will be taken away. And so your menus won't have as many options and there won't be as many, uh, options say in the channel strip, uh, for surround if you're not using that. I just like to keep them all uh, all on. I don't do much mixing and surround, but I like to keep everything on uh, just in case. And one of the big ones was the advanced editing was turned off for a lot of people and they weren't able to actually advanced editing and audio were both turned off for a lot of people. And so they weren't able to follow along in some of the uh, the future uh, episodes. The problem with this advanced tools uh, preference is if they're all turned off like this, if you've got show advanced tools turned off, you've basically turned Logic into a glorified version of GarageBand. And that's not, that, that's not such a bad thing, because you know, considering that GarageBand was built from Logic's original architecture. Uh, but yeah, you just want to make sure you turn those on. And a lot of people, you know, when they download Logic for the first time, they're like, what is this? You know, this is GarageBand. This isn't, you know, this isn't Logic. This isn't a pro app. Uh, you just have to turn on your advanced tools. And so for all videos in the series, make sure all of these are turned on. Uh, when these are off, you'll find that a lot of the, the menus don't have as many of many functions as they normally would have. Um, and you don't have uh, access to certain editors down here like we'd normally have, like the, um, uh, like the file editor. Uh, the hyper editor, the MIDI environment. So there's a lot of there's a lot of things left out if you don't turn that on. So again, just logic preferences, advanced tools. Make sure that all of these are turned on. Now, I'm putting this video in between episodes one and two, uh, but currently I'm actually working on episode 31. So this is uh, one of the few videos that I'm kind of just doing out of order and then putting in there as kind of like a fix instead of having to redo one of my videos. So if you're currently ca if you're catching this video right after you've watched episode one, you'll be fine throughout the rest of the series as long as you turn on those uh, advanced tools. If you've made it all the way to video, uh, you know, episode 30 already with no problems, I'm assuming that you've probably figured this out uh, by now. But it's something uh, worth checking just to double check to make sure that you've got all those turned on. So I hope you uh, enjoyed the video series and thanks for watching.